Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Football Manager and welcome to the Britannia Stadium for the Stoke vs Liverpool game. And as uh, I talked about, uh, first time we played Stoke, in fact, they still employ this bizarre tactic of leaving a big gap in midfield, essentially parking the bus in their own stadium. Genius. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> um, as, as I mentioned in previous videos, every time I bloody press record, my nose just goes... Um, Liverpool team, uh, Fernando Torres starts his first game of the season, as well as Steven Gerrard behind him, so that's that getting there now. Carroll does not start, Balotelli is injured, uh, he's going to be out for a month as we all know. Uh, Hazard and Lucas in the middle with Kalou and Kout on the right, really good, I like them there. Uh, Johnson is suspended, and Digne, um, I'll show you in a moment uh, what's happened to him. Uh, Wilson, Carragher, Agen, and Fabio Relio, Skirtle's also injured. Um, just a f there are a few pieces of um, news I want to go over. Uh, spearing inched by Carroll. <laughs> imagine that. Just imagine Andy Carroll going up against Jay Spearing. Little sick, you know, little Jay Spearing, five foot whatever. Malan Jovanovic is unhappy. What a surprise. You know, just imagine that. Um, you know, going up against the huge Andy Carroll. But yeah, that that that, that I'll let you do that yourself. Lucas Denier was given a leave of, leave of absence. Um, he felt homesick and he said, I'm not really happy here, you know, I'm, I don't really blend in very well and like the, the culture and everything and all that sort of stuff. So I said, would you like a leave of absence? And he was very happy for that. I want to get on his good side because he's a very good player. He's only 18 years old, being valued at five and a half million pounds is excellent. And um, for now, he's gone on a leave of absence. I don't know how long for, but he will um, be off for a while. So. He's off the radar, and Aurelio is going to take his place. Um, so let's commence the Stoke game. Now, this probably wouldn't be it. This we white. We wouldn't be wearing white. We would be wearing uh, black, which is a bit odd. <laughs> Here goes Gerard. Now then, let's see how we do. <laughs> a business start, uh, to say the least. Uh, we need to be to control, not attacking, because uh, he can't just go attacking to a Stoke team. But yeah, that's, uh, I didn't even know you could give players leaves of, leave of absence in this game. Um, it's quite a surprise when I said that because I thought oh, that's that's quite nice of me to say. Oh, I'll give you a leave of absence. Go ahead. He's only—I mean, he was only 18. I mean, you've, you know, you've got to remember that. You know, imagine an 18-year-old. Torres though pulls it back. Gerrard in the top bin, and I think that is like eighth or ninth goal. That's a hundredth league goal for Liverpool. Fantastic way to score it. Absolutely smashed it in. Fernando Torres getting his assists. Off and, off and running, I think. And uh, Stephen Gerrard there with a very good finish to give us the lead here at the Britanni Stadium. I think the form is coming back now. Torres perhaps taking that too wide, but he did beat his man. Came off wheeling. But Gerrard's there in front of Hazard. Smashes it in. Fucking goalkeeper, no chance. And we take the lead. I think the confidence has come back now. I'm beginning to see it now. I'm not getting as agitated as I was in previous videos. All that could change in a moment, though. Nope, here's Salam Kalu. Good touch to take it away from the defender now. He is uh, running. Well, he's running down this right-hand side. He's got a lot of space. Lucas is in the middle. Oh, wow. <laughs> the ball bypassed them all. But Aggers, oh, nearly found Kalou. Oh, no, but Kels found Kalou. And he should have put that ball across. But L Lucas maybe can get the ball. No. Oh, there's so many decisions they could have taken. And they didn't. Oh, the Kalou, I don't know why he had an effort. Admittedly, you know, he is a, an attack-minded player. And that's what they do. And O'Reilly gives away a free kick. What a surprise. Um... But, you know, that that's, he, I think he should have put that one across the box, but I can't blame him for shooting, I guess. You know, when you are attack-minded like him, that's what you want to do. And there goes Torres, though. He's got the beat. Oh, and beating of his man, Andy Wilkinson. He could be off here. Is that... Was that last man? Ooh, it's a yellow card. That could have been a red card. That easily, easily could have been a red. I don't think he was last man, but on the face of it and real time, that did look a little bit last manny. That even is a phrase. And uh, Stoke haven't really given us too much of a problem so far, which is very good because uh, we uh, haven't been we've been quite cagey all season. But you know, I'm waiting for that still that clean sheet. I'm still waiting for that one clean sheet. But I think with Torres in the team now, hopefully that might give the team a bit more. Oh well, no, I, mean, I don't want to speak too soon. Oh, and Sadibi, who um, he's quite good on this actually. He's, he's actually not that bad a player. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, um, you know, I don't want to. To say anything wrong yet, but uh, hopefully we can get that first. I think it like might be like the first clean sheet of the season. Don't get complacent. Um, but yeah, the, the Steven Gerrard, his his um, fitness is slightly lacking at the moment. I think I might need to leave him out at one point. I don't know who will be against. Might be against Cluj. 
But here we go now. Uh, Torres is going to be coming back so he can take that Gerard roll. Lucas, though, crashes it against the bar. Wow. I wasn't expecting that from Lever, but uh, Lucas Lever there, but... Uh, well, he, he's got a his shooting's getting better. Not going to deny it. Good ball in. Over Hazard, maybe, with a shot. No, I thought I was waiting for them to have a shot. Actually, I don't mind them having shots occasionally. When, oh. when Reina... That's a better decision this time. Much better decision. So we're coming out against Sadibi. Risky passing, but Gerard. Oh, he's played in. Fernando Torres and Sorensen just turns it behind for a corner. I'm commentating more on this game now because it's a very quick game. Lots happening. And we have a throw in. I'm disliking how much the goalkeepers run forward. I don't, I, I don't like talking or something. You know, like, I wonder if you can hear them talking if you put the sound off. I've tried to turn the sound off because, you know, I don't think. Oh, thank God they've got no one up there. Um, <laughs> you know, I don't think you can hear them talking or anything when the sound's turned on. All you can hear is the crowd, but. It's weird how the play, the goalkeepers sort of run forward like that. Oh, and I knew Danny Wilson had give away another free kick there. I could just see it. it was just that little too late. It's a very quick game. And we're having a lot of possession. Good pass, and I really like this now. This is a lot better. Certainly the best performance of the season so far, certainly. Uh, good pass, and as you can see, just passing it. Using Danny Wilson a lot. Using the wings a lot. Gerrard's got into good space, and again, that's swatting it over. Yeah, they, they do it a lot. I mean, I, I don't know if how common it is if every player does it, but seemingly, you know, the players do like to put the foot through it, and occasionally it will go th go through. But Torres beating his man. Torres, Sor oh, I thought he put that wide. Sorensen makes a good save. I didn't even. Torres though is he's putting him absolutely on fire at the moment. Him and Gerard. Wilson again. He's been very quick today. I'm unfortunately can't find Gerard with that one, but. Uh, Wilson's done very well defensively, and we're having some really good chances. Good spell of possession, and there's a ball in, and it's Gerrard again. Stephen Dow with his second. I, th I don't know how many goals he's scored now, but he's scoring so many goals this season. Been an absolute wrecking ball. Good football in here from Hazard. His he's confidence is growing out every game. He gets in front of Javi Baraja, I think is how you pronounce that, J in Spanish, but... um. Gerard has a second, and this is easily the best one for the season so far. Uh, as you can see, absolute domination of play of the team. And again, we, we really like playing against Stoke, don't we? And the team's fine. Um, I have absolutely no problems with the, with this team so far. I'm not going to be making any subs. going to give him another five minutes. Oh, and Daniel Iger's going to take a free kick only into the wall. And Wilson with an effort. Why the hell not? I don't mind that when, you know, it's 2-0. But, you know, when you're losing 1-0 or like that you know that is frustrating when when players do that but I still want a clean sheet so they've still got to concentrate all the way to the end I really want a clean sheet with this Salman Kalou he's played in Torres I think that's going to be a good partnership and I thought well that looked more convincing I thought it was a save from Sorensen and in the previous effort but I don't know um, ok we're going to take Gerard off oh no 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 he's going to keep him on for a hat-trick got to keep him on for a hat-trick we'll um, bring Andy Carroll on for Torres and we shall bring on. Oh, I'll give Gerard another ten minutes, because I, I don't want to. I don't really want to upset him because they kind of get a little noise when they're on a hat trick, and they get taken off. But I want to keep him. I want to take him off for his fitness. But he's got a hat trick at the same time, you know. And I want him to get as many goals as he can because he's, he's doing so well with his goals. And there's Walters. Put a tackle in. Holy shit! What a tackle! I hate. I'm really annoyed how often they stand off players. I think I'm out to start down to sort of go in. Well, actually, no. I, I can't have the best of both worlds. You can't have them going in and tackling them, like, and occasionally giving away a penalty or free kick. Like, I, I always used to get annoyed at. But then standing off them at the same time. I don't know. I'm a picky bastard. <laughs> no, you can't have the best of both worlds. Oh, Hazard's opened up for him, but nothing. Isn't the best, cleanest striker of the ball. But um, he's done well. Okay, we're going to take him off now. Are we? Should we? Yeah, no, no, no. We'll wait to this highlight. Provided we don't make any sloppy errors, I think we could be on for the first clean sheet, certainly for God knows how many games. Bring the confidence back. Oh, Gerard surging run. Oh, and look, he's hit the... I think it was the bar. He was that close for a hat trick. I'm going to have to leave him. And uh, we're going to take Hazard off for Raul Morelles, and uh, we're going to give Danny Pacheco a quick run as well. Take him off for Kalu. I'm just going to do that, see if we can get a third goal. Come on, Lucas, go over there. No, you don't. Morales goes over there. <laughs> Never mind. 
I think that's going to be two minutes of added time. Fortunately, Jarrod won't get his hat-trick, it seems. But he's still got two goals. And that is the first clean sheet of the season. About bloody time as well. Um, we take a clean sheet. First real convincing win of the season. And uh, about time we needed, we needed that. Right? It's come at a good time as well. We've got to take on Cluj in the Champions League next game. And uh, Man United and Arsenal also winning. And QPR has sacked Warnock. <laughs> Absolute hammer in there of Stoke. And although it doesn't really say much about keeping a clean sheet, um, that's the first time we'll find out in a moment. I'll do the post-match conference. I think he is starting to get a little carried away now. And I don't really care too much about Chris Hooten. So uh, we'll just continue real quick. And then we'll have a look to see if any news comes up. And see the next game is against Cluj at their place. Uh, Christ, I don't even know where they're from. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, let's have a look. Oh, sorry, we'll have a look at the fixtures. Now we'll have a look at the league real quick. So that's the first clean sheet we've had. Since the Blackburn game in October. Then how many games? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's like the, that's uh, eight. I think like eight or nine games. Um, excluding the Stevenage game, and we've kept a clean sheet against Everton. I think that's like only the in the Premier League. Um, just check the. Uh, let me just check Premier League. Um, that's only the one, two. That's only the third clean sheet we've kept all season. It's nearly December. Damn. <laughs> But we know we're getting wins, we're getting wins. One ten, drawn two, lost one. We're scrapping out them wins still, but the goal difference, still not great. Points ahead of Arsenal, and the next game is against Cluj. Uh, hopefully you'll join me for that. That is a big, big, big uh, game. Um, sorry, hold on, let me just, I'll, I'll get the group, actually, no, we'll, we'll have a look next one. Um, thanks a lot for watching, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's been a good game today, and I will hopefully see you for the Cluj game. So, goodbye for now.